month of Rajab itself is the zahir of something that is batin, is the outward manifestation of something that is a hidden reality. And there's a hadith by Imam al-Kazim alayhi salam where he says, Rajab is the name of a river in paradise which is whiter than milk and sweeter than honey. And those who fast in this month shall drink from that river. Fasting in the month of Rajab is a very, very, very important action in this month. Fasting. Okay? So if anybody here who has not fasted and would like to, uh, to, to, to perfect their deen and to get forgiveness from Allah and to get close to him, it is recommended that you should fast. Some people fast the entire month. Some people fast one day. Some people fast two. Some people fast three. It all depends upon the iqbal of your heart, what, how your heart is inclined, all right? Um, it is also very good sometimes to go against your, 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 your idbar, your disinclination. This is also an aspect of internal discipline. Very interesting. He said it is whiter than milk, which indicates that Rajab is a source of purification. Milk is considered to be one of the purest of foods. And, it is, and whiteness also is considered to be one of the purest of colors. So in our experience of, our, of Rajab, in using Rajab, it is a means of purifying our souls as preparation for the big test, which is, the, is Ramadan. Okay? Uh, thirdly, he says, it is, uh, secondly, he says, it is sweeter than honey. It is something that is uh, uh, nourishing, a uh, healing like honey, and is something that is pleasurable for the soul. The Imam is talking about the internal reality of Rajab. Why does he describe it as a river? Because time in the physical world flows like a river. Time flows like a river. You see, um, we are in time. Ourselves are in time. And so, uh, time takes us along. In spiritual activity, we, come, we could come outside of time. Our bodies might obey time because they are physical things, but our souls are, are capable of not obeying time, of being timeless. You see, so this is why, for example, is a big error when you look at yourself and say to yourself, that old person I see in the mirror is me. You're wrong. That old person I see in the mirror is an aged version of my body that I am utilizing. It is not me. Right? If you ask any old person, like he's a healthy one, he would tell you or she would tell you that I do not feel any older than 24, 25 years old in myself. It's just my body can't keep up with what I would like to do. Okay? And so it all depends upon how you look at yourself. Somebody asked him, Ali alayhi salam, you know, uh, they, they heard that he made a thousand rakah of prayer every night. And when you calculate the minimum amount of time it takes to make one rakah, it's impossible to make a thousand rakah of prayer in your body in this world. But he went outside of the river of time. Because the spiritual person, the, the spirit dominates the body. The spirit dominates the body. The more powerful the spirit, the more it can defy the outward limitations that are usually imposed upon the body. And so, for example, we have, a, a, the, we have the, the phenomenon of, the phenomenon, the phenomenon of uh, tahil uh, ard, okay? The, the folding of the earth. It is really basically the folding of space, which is uh, the phenomenon that is well known among the great Orafa, that you can make one step and cross over space and step into it in one moment with the body, not astral traveling, you know, where you know, Buddhists or Hindus or whatever will be lying there and their soul travels. No, you take your body with you. Similarly, Imam Ali alayhi salam was so powerful, was so powerful, and he could take his body and step outside of time, okay, and pray 1,000 rakah in a time that is impossible for 1,000 rakah to be prayed. Similarly, the, the, uh, the, the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, especially again in this month, we have the Mi'raj, okay? 
The Mi'raj is one where, for example, what did he do? In one night, in one night, in a moment in one night, okay, he went past all of the heavens in his body. Something that would take us, I don't know, millions of light years to do in this only physical world, okay? So this is what uh, the mystery of Rajab and these things are. 